Welcome to Notion and Productivity with Productivity HQ. Hey guys, welcome back to another video with Productivity Headquarters. Today we're going to jump into a video that I've been wanting to record since forever. And it's about this new browser that I'm using. And it's completely replaced Safari, Chrome, everything for me. And I really want you guys to check it out. It is called Opera. As you can see, this layout is completely different from what you're usually seeing. Just the background look of it, the tabs at the top, everything like that. So let's hop right into it. So starting out, we're going to go into the main reason why I ended up actually choosing Opera because I honestly wasn't going to at first, but and it's because of my extensions. So starting out here with the extensions, you're able to add your own extensions from Chrome onto here. And that was really a deciding factor for me just because I use a lot of Chrome extensions and I was worried that if I use Opera, I won't be able to use my extensions and you're able to easily add those on. So let me show you guys how you would add these extensions on. So say for example, just starting out, you would go to the Chrome web browser and Opera also has their own extensions web store, but I mostly go through Chrome for that. So say for example, if you wanted to download this right here, this Helix Fruit Jump Arcade. So you go here and see how it says add to Opera. It'll either say add to Opera, add to Chrome, and it'll go ahead and edit. So it'll load up and then it'll populate in your extensions and it'll add the exact same way. So you just press add and go from there. But we're not going to download this one. I just really want to show you guys that first because that was just a game changer for me because I really use my extensions a lot. I actually go through and show you my different extensions that I currently use. So right now I have my grammar check, colorzilla. This just pulls colors from my actual pages. So when I'm working on different projects or anything like that, and I need to match colors. And then we have the go full page, which I don't actually end up needing anymore once we get into this bar I'll just tell you why and this just takes a screenshot of your full page without you having to scroll or anything like that you have TubeBuddy and that's for YouTube just to get you some stats and different things like that to show growth and then also vidIQ which is the exact same thing and then you have zoom for Google and it zooms in to a specific area so jumping into this tab this little bar up here the reason why I told you I no longer need to have that go full screenshot is because Opera has an actual built-in area where it says you can capture the full page or you can capture the visible page so if I wanted to I can go right here capture full page and it would actually go ahead and capture the page for me without me having to do anything so I feel like that's a really big plus so just the different little extensions really is what pulled me to using this and as you can see it clearly screenshots the whole entire page without you really having to do anything you can go ahead and zoom in zoom out add annotate up here at the top all these different options you have you can go ahead and save your image or you can just copy it and close it and then you can add to pin boards which we'll get into towards the end a little bit i'll show you guys what pin boards are so you go ahead and exit out of that and then also you have up here your downloads which i just downloaded this video here which i'm working on and if you guys haven't checked it out go ahead and check it out i made a video about how to actually accomplish your goals with a different version of a vision board that i actually created in canva I actually tag that video up in the cards for you guys the next thing over is we have a few settings in opera so going into opera you see we have the themes page and you can select different things that you want you can go ahead and duplicate your themes make it into a night mode and also you have theme sounds and then you can also force dark mode onto pages so you know sometimes you're on certain sites and it's light and you don't really want it to be bright see how that easily flipped this and made it dark that's another neat thing that's one thing i will say i also love about opera i just feel like i love everything about opera at this point is that they have these built-in systems that they know people want on a regular basis and they're like actually we're going to put it all into our browser for you instead of having you to have all these different tools to actually enjoy your web, web browser next thing you know we have let's go actually into this page so i can kind of show you what these phrases mean so going into here we have the speed dial suggestions which i don't typically have up because i usually know what i'm going to go to but say for example it's pages that you constantly view so for me that would be like my sub stack i constantly go to my website linkedin campbell all those different sites that i constantly go to so they give you those suggestions outside of here and then i usually keep that off they have the news page which i don't really have up and then showing your weather which you can set your city over here in the corner and then you have the AI services, which we'll get into on the side. As you can see, you guys know this logo, ChatGPT. 
and then over here we have having your sidebar so it's do you want your sidebar off do you want it on do you want it on auto hide me i just always keep it on i just like the look and the layout of it we also have lucid mode and that's for sharpening your videos on all your sites we'll get into that also and then we also have blocked ads block trackers and vpn you can enable in your settings and then your clearing browser data and things like that jumping into this top section up here you actually can create your own type of account once you get started and you can have it sync over your devices and then also you have just the shopping center your vpn right here premium services cash back and pin boards jumping into the tabs at the top a neat thing that opera has created is actually having it to where once you click on your tabs there's a way where you can actually go ahead and create different islands so say for example if i wanted to go ahead and have both of these together in an island we could create a tab island and they would go together. So say if I was working on a similar projects and I needed all of my videos together or like my topics together, the information I'm working on so it's not too many tabs, they have that option there to have your island to be able to expand, which I feel like is a pretty neat tool. Also, as you can see, once I'm hover hovering over this, there's different emojis at the top. And that's another neat way to keep your tabs organized. So say for example, if I'm working on different Canva projects and I wanted to make sure that I know that this is page number one, this is page number two, for my canva different projects and you also have the option to actually add in your own emojis you don't have to just use the ones that are preset at the top so i feel like that's a really cool way to keep you organized especially if you have big projects that you're working on or just different assignments that you're working on for school business anything like that the side here they also have the option to where you have these little things on the side and also these up here will start at the top and these are your different pages so you know how say for example in chrome they have different accounts that you can have maybe your personal your business with their email here you can just automatically create them with different tabs on the side so if I wanted to, I can go ahead and go into my personal, which is to me as Cameo, and it will bring up a whole different page that has nothing to do with my business page. And so if I wanted to go back, easily click on that again, and it'd take me back. I can go ahead and right click and manage my workspaces. And right here, you have the option to go ahead and edit them, and you can go ahead and change the name for it. And you also can add in your different emojis that you wanna use if you don't wanna use the preset icons that they have. So that's a pretty neat option too. So you can also add more workspaces if you would like. And then jumping down, we have the AI services. So they also have Aria, which is their built-in AI service that you can use or either ChatGPT. Currently me, I just use ChatGPT because I was already using it previously. So it kind of has all of my different information in there, the conversations that I had, had and stuff like that. So I just automatically use that. And once you open it up, it literally pops up as like a little pop out on the side so you don't really have to even go anywhere that's one thing i feel like opera really nailed when it came down to their browser is that if there's anything you need to handle you can stay in your browser and don't have to jump to different things you can have everything on one screen and then imagine if you have double screens you're able to really optimize your work so you don't get distracted and you can just stay on task a lot easier so go ahead and close it you'll just go ahead and click so going back into here we have tiktok with the messengers you have tiktok facebook messenger whatsapp telegram vk instagram and x eventually they'll probably add in whatever new app comes out next or one of the main apps that comes out and it'll be added to here right now i just currently have tiktok which i don't really use as much for like business purposes as much so i just had it there because i like the way it looked and i was using it before but you have that option there to add it in and you also can configure your shortcuts there scrolling down a little bit more you have your shopping features and that's more so into your special features which is your shopping corner your player your my flow and your crypto wallet and then a little bit down you have your speed dial which i showed you guys before that's that main page when you first start up your actual browser also you have your bookmarks do you want it to open in a panel do you want to open in a full page and also do you want to check it off and also have it down here at the bottom you have personal news your pin boards tabs history downloads etc and then you have your sidebar extensions so say for example you have certain extensions that you did download they will also show up over here so jumping into the player which i feel like is a really neat tool i'm saying everything is a neat tool but it just really is you can use any player that you would like to use so you can use apple music or spotify currently i use apple music so 
I will have my music here and you can go ahead and change whatever song or music you want to play and I'll show you guys that really quickly. So right here, if I were to actually select my song, I have it there and it'll play and you can just move this anywhere, which I feel like is also really cool. So if you want to have different songs playing, you don't necessarily have to leave out of this screen or anything like that or have anything open on your bottom bar. You can go ahead and open it in here also. So go ahead and exit out of that one. And then you have my flow, which I feel like just pours more into the fact that they have different tools for you to use so you can stay on the browser. This right here is what you would connect to your phone device and you can send messages back and forth to yourself and they will be able to be in your browser. You can go ahead and send images in here also. That's another option that's in here. So say for example, if you're out, you're taking pictures or you're taking care of anything or you have an idea and you wanna make sure that it's available for you later, it will show up in your my flow so say for example right here if i wanted to send this over to myself this snapshot and i want it to be saved once i'm in here i can go ahead and send that snapshot over to myself and once i look back later or if i'm on another device that's also logged into my opera it will be there jumping into showing you guys what lucid mode is let's go into youtube really quickly and i don't believe i'm signed in last time i checked yeah okay so i'm not signed in so we'll just click on a random video we'll click on this video with the side man and then i'll show you guys what it will look like if we were to close out of this page and then also what lucid mode will look like okay so going into here you have the top little buttons at the top and it shows you pop out and then lucid mode so let's go ahead and pause it really quickly and then once you turn on lucid mode you can clearly see that there is a distinct actual difference in how the video looks here so lucid mode can definitely definitely give you a kind of a neater view while you're watching your youtube videos and then say for example here if i wanted to jump over and finish working on what i was working on it literally creates a pop-out window for you so if you're working on anything you can go ahead and move this around and then they have the different settings over here at the top if you want to go ahead and adjust anything and then even if you jump to another page it will still be there so like i said before opera is a brand new browser that i've been using and it has so many different tools so let me know down in the comments if you guys really actually like this browser and if you guys would like any more tips and tricks that i've learned about opera and do you see yourself using it in the future i will also leave a link down in the description box so you guys can go ahead and download opera and actually let me show you really quickly how you guys can download opera they have their website so you would just google opera it will take you there and you would just press download now but i'll also leave the link just so you guys can get it faster i thank you guys so much for watching let me know what else videos you guys would like to see be sure to like comment and subscribe and tune into the next video see ya